Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. I've been asked to share a tutorial on how to do faux cinnabar. And there are several colors of cinnabar. Cinnabar is a, a color that comes from nature that's used in lacquerware in lots of Japanese designs. So I've got some some Primo if I can find the color and I cannot read it. It's too faded off, but it's a like a pomegranate kind of red, although that's not what it's called. And I, I apologize, I just cannot read it. And then I've got a little bit of a lizard and crimson. I just happen to know what this one is. <laughs> I wish they would make it easier to read on the package what the color is. This one is a little easier to read, the alizarin crimson. On this one, the top is even smaller. And it's just it's just worn away nope just can't read it alright so for the one I've just pulled out a couple of my polymer clay molds and these molds work best if you uh, put a little bit of pearlex powder or baby powder or whatever powder you're using um, as a release agent so for the lighter cinnabar which is usually carved and has some sharp detail I'm going to mold it into the heart and then for the other which is the same it's the same product it's just from handling it becomes darker and darker so I'm going to do the the Buddha face mold all right So first thing I'm going to do is mix these together. Uh, just like, let's see, a third and a two-thirds. <laughs> Whatever portions you're working with. One-third to two-thirds. Alright, so I'm going to mold this and condition this and I'll be right back. Alright. In this instance, and you won't see me do this very often, I'm just going to squirt a squirt of water onto the mold to get it to <coughs> easily release. Because I don't want the sparkle from the Prolex powder um, to show up on the finished piece. Alright, so... I'm just going to get this out to a sort of general shape. And I'm telling y'all, if y'all could see the state of my desk right now, I have so many projects going on at one time. It's a bit ridiculous. Alright. Just 
going to gently coax this back out of the mold. Grab a baking towel and then I'm going to trim it. Now this would represent a piece of carved um, cinnabar. clay is rather sticky this morning and my blade is probably not very clean. Which is kind of weird because it's a relatively new blade. <laughs> Alright, so after I bake this, it really will have the appearance of. Um, a piece of faux cinnabar. The other piece is the Buddha face and I chose this because it's got smoother detail. So this one will represent the um, the one that's been touched a lot, That's that's got some worn um, surface to it. And cinnabar does darken with age and um, handling. This one, I didn't score it with water. Hopefully, it's going to pull out all right. It could stand to be backfilled just a bit, but I'm just going to go with what we've got. You can see this one's got a little bit of residual pearl X stuck to it. That won't matter. Alright, so I'm just going to bake these. And as always, I'm going to bake them for, at 275 for about 40 minutes on these. Alright, and then I'll come back and finish them. Alright, here's the little heart as it came out. And other than the little sparkly bits, it is a rather convincing uh, piece of faux cinnabar. You could fill the center with um, some glitter glue, some stickles, um, some resin, uh, more polymer clay. <laughs> There's all kinds of things you could do with this. Alright, this one I'm going to put a coat of 
Uh huh. I always forget what it's called. Uh, the Amer the Deco Art Gel Stain. And all I'm going to do is paint it on and wipe it off. Just going to paint it on, cover the whole thing. You could do this with the Deco Art antiquing cream um, and just let it dry on there and then wipe it back with a damp cloth and uh, then you would need to add a sealer. This Deco Art gel stain uh, is a little more permanent. Not necessarily permanent, but a little more permanent. It's a little more like acrylic paint. This is just a cloth napkin that came from a yard sale. It was actually in a box of free stuff. Alright, and as you can see, that's a, another rather convincing look at a faux cinnabar. So there's two techniques to a faux cinnabar with using just two colors of polymer clay. This one, I believe it's the pomegranate. I did go and check on the Sculpey website and it's either the pomegranate or it's an old color that's been discontinued but I couldn't find that either. So, And then this is the alizarin crimson mixed with the pomegranate. Um, a third of the alizarin crimson and then two thirds of the pomegranate. Alright, so that's all I've got for you today. Um, I shall holler at y'all later. Bye now.